the teams in the 1960s were outstanding. The, the Maple Leafs were a, a great team. All the parts came together to help them win the championship in 62, and then again 63, 64, and finally in 67. That was a very interesting season, uh, 67 season. As I look back at that, being the young guy on the team, I could tell the guys realized that this was, this was their last hurrah, really. At that point, people had been second-guessing the age of the team over and over and over again. You've got several players who were dubbed the Over the Hill Gang. The following year was expansion. There was no doubt some of the, our guys were going to be picked up by expansion clubs. Some were going to retire, so this team was not going to be together. Some veterans who had already basically won three cups in a row in the early 60s made up their mind to give it all they had. And we weren't supposed to beat Chicago in the first round. They were 19 points ahead of us. We beat them in six games, and then all of a sudden you realize we got one more playoff series and we can do this. So here we are, they're playing, and it's an unlikely Stanley Cup championship that year. They're all of a sudden looking at us and saying, well, maybe this is not, this is not going to be as easy as we thought. And then all of a sudden, things started to go our way. We put a lot of importance on winning game six in Toronto. It was a critical game, of course, for us. Uh, we had won two games in Montreal. To expect us to go back and win a game seven in Montreal, that's asking a lot. I'm sitting in the dressing room between the second and third period, and I, I remember it was pretty quiet. And then the, um, the wonderful gesture by Punch and Run. He gave a very different talk about guys. Expansion next year, this is probably the last year you're going to be together, most of you. This is a chance to finish on a high note. It was very low key, but it, the message was, we're one period away from winning the cup. Everybody started believing that, hey, this, this is possible. They pulled their goalie, face off in our end, and uh, Punch showed his loyalty. Sent out Horton, Stanley, Pulford, Kelly, and Armstrong. And uh, that was just, uh, I think, just saying thank you to the veterans. So there may have been better teams, but there's no team that probably deserved it more, no team that is remembered more fondly than that 1967 Stanley Cup team. Everybody bought in and everybody wanted to make their contribution. And uh, it turned out, turned out well. Tremendous hockey game this was. Fantastic.